In this video, we're going to talk about a lot of inspiration for spring, some color combinations, some colors that are on trend, some that just look really, really good here in the spring. This should definitely get your juices flowing for putting different outfits together that maybe you didn't think of before in your closet. So let's get started. I'm sure you've heard that reds and burgundies are just really big colors for 2024. And then you're thinking about spring and it's like well, burgundy for spring. I don't know. But the big trend right now are burgundy accessories and red accessories. And that can obviously look beautiful in the spring. And I love these paired with like a very a beige neutral ivory outfit. I think that could be so lovely because I know some of you probably have it in your closet. You just need to like pull it out, but I think that can look like a really beautiful combination. And even burgundy and ivory together within the same outfit can also look very beautiful. I showed you this dress that I got from Mango that has those colors in there. I think it looks, you know, the style is obviously a very spring style. And I think that just looks really beautiful and kind of different for spring. This is a very classy combination. It looks very expensive, especially the burgundy. So I don't think this is one to ignore, even though it is more of a fall color. Let's talk about greens for a minute because green, some shade of green is always gonna be on trend for spring. I still love the Kelly green. I know that Kelly green is not trending this year, but I love it. I have my little Kelly green bag that I just, Love it so much. And so, you know, I will continue wearing that. But let's talk about some greens that are trending. There's one green that I guess you could call it pistachio green. And when you see this color, it's like there's no way that that would be a big color. But it's such a big color for spring. And the apparel shows that I have been to, like, every line of clothing has something in this color. And I mean, I kind of like it. I don't like it all the time, but I think it can look really pretty in some cases. And it's just kind of different. I think it looks great with beige and ivory as a lot of things do, um, but it can be just a really cool color and just something different for spring if you find it in a style that you really like. Another shade of green we are seeing this spring, and I feel like we see this every spring, and it's a very beautiful, classic, beautiful color for spring. It's that sage green. I think this is such a beautiful color and I love it in clothing but I also love it in accessories and just kind of as an accent so I think this can be almost a neutral sometimes because it does go with a lot of other it goes with all the other neutrals as a lot of things do but it doesn't look very overpowering and especially if you like neutrals but you want to try a little bit of color this is kind of a somewhere in between and I think this is a beautiful color to try I've mentioned before that I love my little sage green bag paired back with an all beige outfit I just think that looks so beautiful and classy. So I just love this color in lots of different ways for spring. And then another shade of green we're seeing is the more forest green that you normally see in the fall. I've been seeing this a lot in swimwear, which I think is really pretty. And I've seen it in some handbags. I've seen it in some accessories. So maybe not a head to toe dress, but it's been popping up as almost like an accent color. It's definitely different to have this color be popular for spring as opposed to fall. But again, it looks beautiful with beige. I mean, what color doesn't look good with beige and ivory? And I, don't, I really don't know. They all look good with that. So when in doubt, go to beige and ivory. But anyway, it's just a beautiful color for spring. I do love the handbags in this color that I've seen. I think that can be really classy looking. I am so excited to share with you our sponsor for this video because they have saved me so much money, so much headspace. And I, I'm just, I kid you not, like literally saved me so much money. And it's Rocket Money. And if you have not heard of Rocket Money, it is, first of all, the most important app I have on my cell phone. Rocket Money will help you save money and it will help you manage your money. When I signed up for Rocket Money, I learned that I had all these subscriptions that I had signed up for that I had forgotten about. And I was just being charged like $4, $3, $2 every single month. And the cool thing with Rocket Money, you can just press cancel subscription. And a lot of times it will help you cancel them or cancel them for you. Not only that, but if you're somebody who finds it very important to manage your money and to really know where your money is going and what your money is spending on, this app helps you easily see how much you're spending in each category and really helps you determine, are you spending your money in the places you really want to be spending it? Or if you're somebody who at the end of the month is like, where did all my money go? This app will tell you where it went. Not only that, but Rocket Money got me a lower phone bill. They did it all for me. And I'm like, I just like do I send you a present? You basically send them a copy of your bill and they will negotiate a lower rate for you and get you the best rate possible. So if you're ready to take control of your finances or you want better control or you just want easy control, like just easy, I like easy, 
definitely download this, load this app. You can get a free trial when you use my link in the description box below. I will leave my link below and everything you need to know to get your free trial started with Rocket Money in the description box below, or you can look at the link on the screen and let's continue. Any color video that I do, I always mention black and white or black and cream. I think this is just a very classy looking color combination. It's so easy to do. And I think it just gets skipped over a lot because it seems, it's just so easy and basic. It's like black and white, like, uh. But it's just, it can look so crisp and so beautiful and so stylish. And it's also so easy. If you have five minutes to get dressed, run to your closet and pull out some black and white things, put them together and you're gonna look amazing. I have this white cotton maxi skirt I wore all the time last spring and summer and I like to put it with a lot of times either my black bodysuit or my black high neck tank top, depending on the situation or where I was going. But it was just super easy. I just thought it looked really good. You know, it was perfect for the weather. I definitely don't think you should look over black and white and black and ivory, make this combination in many different ways. And I, you know, I can find lots of examples of ways that I love this color combination. And if you didn't want to do clothing black and white, you can also do all white clothing or all beige clothing and then do black shoes, black handbag, or like black accessories. The color of the year for 2024 was peach fuzz. And it looks just like that. It looks like peach fuzz, but I really haven't heard much about it. And I haven't even really seen it that much in fashion, in the major designers. I just, I don't know. I was like the color of the year, but I don't really see it. So I don't know what's going on there. And I don't even know how I feel about the color. It almost looks a little bit more like a neutral in some cases. And I think I like that version of this peach fuzz better than a pastel peach. I like the neutral kind of look. So that can be really pretty, but I just really haven't seen a whole lot. But I think that could be really pretty if you found that in a blazer or a dress. And that's one of those colors that it probably works really well for certain skin tones and works really horribly for others. I feel like on me, I would not look good. I would just look not great. I look better in like bright colors like this normally rather than the pastels, but this could be a really pretty color for the right person. Orange is a color I've mentioned before that used to be reserved for um, Halloween and Thanksgiving and then you just like never saw it again. And now it's such a popular color in fashion and I love it. I just never do. I never knew that I liked orange so much. And I just think this is so beautiful in dresses and it is a little bit difficult color to match with other colors. So I think if you were gonna buy an orange top, for instance, you might wanna think about what kind of bottoms you're gonna wear it with, like maybe denim and maybe some light beige trousers or something, but there's not a whole bunch of colors that orange looks that great with, except for it looks wonderful with beige, as all colors do apparently, but I'm showing you this orange dress that I got from Revolve, which is super cute. It has no back. You cannot wear a bra with this. Um, you can wear the, the pasty things, which is what I do, but uh, it's lined, so you don't really like I don't know, I don't really worry about things poking through. But I love it with like a beige handbag and like my nude sandals or something like that. But I wouldn't put it with black because I feel like I would look like Halloween. Blue and white is always gonna be classic. Of course, it depends on the print, but I do believe that blue and, blue and white can really be a combination that just really never goes out of style. I mean, a blue and white striped shirt is very trending right now, but even when it's not trending, it's still very classic. It's just a very classic color combination that always looks very elevated, very expensive very upscale, very classy. And I just, I think this is a beautiful color combination. I love the blue and white printed dresses that, that we're seeing a lot of and really works on a lot of people. Now the blue that is very much trending this spring is that pastel blue. I'm sure it's called something else, but it's basically a pastel blue. What is powder blue? Is it called powder blue? That has been a very big trend this year and last year. It's just been a very, very big color and I'm seeing lots of items for spring in this color. This has been a very big color um, in just everything. I've seen this color in jackets, in trench coats, in dresses, and tops, and bottoms, and shoes, and purses, and everything else. So if you like this color, you've got a lot of options right now <laughs> for this color. And I think this, again, looks wonderful with white, looks wonderful with beige. It looks great with brown. I would not go and pair these pastel lighter colors with black. I think it can just rob the color of all its glory. So I would go with more like, uh, you know, navy and browns and white 
whites and khakis more so than black for these light spring colors. So the Barbie movie, when it came out, it really put pink back on the scene and really highlighted it. And then I'll see in certain magazines that says, you know, says pink is out of style or pink is out, something else is in or something like that. And I'm like, no, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. Maybe you think it is, but the world does not think that pink is out. And I am in agreement with the world. I think pink has still got a stronghold in fashion. And there's a lot of really cute stuff coming out in pink. You know, I don't need a ton of pink, but I do love it. I think it's different. And I think it's just a fun color to wear in the spring and summer. And again, what color does it look good with? It looks great with beige. It looks great with beige. It looks great with white. It looks, you know, beautiful with neutrals, looks beautiful with brown. Again, I would not go pairing it with black. I, I'm just, I'm really not a big pink and black fan. It just, I don't like the way that looks. I just think that it kind of also robs the pink of it all its glory. So I would definitely pair the pinks. If you're gonna pair it back with something, denim, white, beige, brown is gonna be your best bet. Another huge color for this year, and I feel like it's been a very big color for the last couple of years, but it's this butter yellow or canary yellow as I've seen it called. And I'm just seeing a lot of clothing items this spring out for sale in this color. I love this color. I think it is so gorgeous. On me, it looks like I haven't slept in seven days and I don't take good care, good care of myself. <laughs> as I realized after doing a color analysis, I love the color though. I love it on other people. It's so beautiful. It looks great with beige, looks great with ivory. Of course, it looks great with white too, but I just, I guess I'm really in a beige and ivory phase right now. So this is a beautiful, beautiful color. I also think it looks really beautiful with gray, which gray has been a big color for 2024. And I also love it with a very soft orange, like a soft yellow, a soft orange, in certain cases, can also look really pretty as well. Brown has become one of my favorite colors to wear. It might be at my actual favorite color to wear. And if you look at my closet, <laughs> It has a lot of brown in it and I wear all of it. I just love it. All shades of brown. I feel like brown is one of the easier colors to do monochrome with because you can mix and match the shades of brown together. It just looks so beautiful. It's just such a soft color. It's not as harsh as black and it just, it's just so warm and inviting. Am I the only person that feels that way about brown? I, lo I love brown. So I don't think this is a color to be overlooked. It can also look very luxurious and just very elite, very upscale. It looks wonderful paired with other neutral colors. It actually does look really great with black. I just think it's a very underestimated color in the color world that doesn't get enough attention. Although it has been lately. In the fashion world, it definitely has lately. And there's been designers like Michael Kors that have really focused on browns and like caramels and these beautiful, rich brown colors for the fall and for the spring and for the summer. So I think that's really great. And it just gives us a lot of inspiration for this color. And I just think it can look so classy. So those were some color combinations and some colors that I think can be really fun for this spring 2024 that you can um, think about if you have some in your closet and play around with them in your clothes and put them together with some of your neutrals, see if you like it, see if you don't like it. <laughs> um, but I hope this video was helpful and inspirational. I will link some items below that I'm wearing in the video in the description box. I will also link rocket money information. I highly suggest giving them a shot because it is a very important tool in my life and has helped me have space in my brain, which I love. So anyway, um, give them a shot. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, a thumbs down if you didn't. Consider subscribing. Leave me a comment about which colors you're loving this year. I love hearing from you guys and I will see you next time.